Kirk Weyers, I am the father of the bride, and for the other half that I have not spoken to that don't know me, yes, I am six foot eight. Answer that quite a bit today. Uh, I, I am just honored to be to be able to be a part of this this wonderful, amazing day. To be able to see two people that uh, they're just the sweetest folks that you'd ever want to meet uh, join together. Um, I know that we're all honored to be here. I do want to tell you a little bit about why I'm holding a cabbage, because at one point, yeah, I didn't think you know, Father Brian had a cabbage. Who comes up with that? You. At one point, there was a great philosopher and poet in this world uh, that that once wrote a poem, and it went something like this: Our love, yes, your love is like a cabbage. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Hello, <laughs> buddy. Our love is like a cabbage divided into two. The leaves I give to others, but the heart I give to you. So with this cabbage, oh my Lord. the great philosopher and poet, Nicole Waldrop, uh, absolutely melted my heart. And it's something that from this age on, it just is carried with me. And it's just amazing to see the transformation. And if you would indulge me for just a moment, to be able to see this, this young lady as, as a child, how she was so tenacious and so hardworking, and she had something about her that was just something you really couldn't put your finger on it, and she's held that and carried that all of her life. Every time that we would get together, every time we sat down, every time that the family would come together, we would be looking at, I can't tell you the amount of times that the Catholic Church playing basketball, uh, the blooper ball games, uh, uh, if you've ever played blooper ball, we've got the, are you in the Hall of Fame yet? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, well, you know, I'm rooting for you. Uh, but just the words that, that Nikki would say. Uh, how, oh, she, how she treated people. Remember when she had Asa? She had Asa, her brother Asa, and she, we were playing basketball. She drug him through concrete and dirt and mud. I give you credit, Ace. You hung on. Yeah, I give you that. But she still kicked your fanny pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> and the words, and when she was heading off to college, she had a, a college scholarship, and as she was going through the workouts, she would be out on our basketball court every night, every night, every night. And the words that kept coming out of her mouth were, you know, commitment, hard work, uh, moxie, drive, these types of things. And it was just, as a father, it was really pretty cool to see. And then, one fateful day, she met Drew, and all of a sudden, the words that came out of her mouth were sweet, <laughs> kind, <laughs> he's nice, and it didn't really sit well with me, and then she was, well, but, you know, he's, he works with the Pistons, so I said, okay, well, maybe he's got a little redeeming quality, you know? We'll keep her out here for a little bit. So, but just her demeanor and how she changed uh, throughout the years was absolutely amazing. And I look at, and in meeting Drew, I thought, honestly, I, I apologize. I thought there was something wrong with him. When I, when I, I did, I did, I was worried. I, I, he would, every time we would go out to eat, I mean, this guy went to the bathroom more than anybody I know. We sit down, we go out to a restaurant, we go out to eat, he's got to go to the bathroom. Like, well, I'm not sure what that's all about. But, uh, then when it came time to pay the bill, that uh, uh, the bill was already paid. The bill was already taken care of. And that's really hard for someone like me, because Drew wasn't going to the bathroom, and there was nothing wrong with him. He is just the, well, there might be a little bit, but just the absolute... <laughs> sweetest, kindest man that you'd ever want to meet. And I fell in love with him that day, and I still, I think I, you better hang on to him. I've already been married three times, you know, I'm not <laughs> to him, but, uh, 
<laughs> the way he treats her, the way she looks in his eyes is absolutely incredible. And I'll wrap it up. I do, I want to take, just if you indulge me, one more thing. We talk about the power, and it is powerful. That cabbage is something. If you haven't tried the power of the cabbage, um, <laughs> let me know. But I really would like to talk. I've asked all of the parental units in your life, if that's okay with you guys, we'd all like to come up and briefly share the power of the cabbage. So with the C and the cabbage, I would like to invite Penny up. Can you come on up here and talk about what's we'll with the C? So tell us a little bit about that. I'm not a public speaker, so mine's going to be very short and brief here. I agree with a lot of what he said. <laughs> Some things not so much. Maybe. That's why we got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And even though the weather didn't turn out quite as we hoped, it, it really turned out to be a beautiful ceremony. And after all, they're married. That's all that matters in the end. We love each other, and we love them very much. So something with the C, um, I would say care and be compassionate, and congratulations and best wishes on a long and happy life together. And I love you. Thank you. No, 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 you need to stay. You need to hey, hold on. We have to stay. That's right. Come on up. Oh my God. Mike. My name is Michael Gilbert, Penny's husband. And I've known these two for a long time. And when I first met Drew, I knew he was a real nice guy. He was sincere, not fake and phony. And that was some slicker. So, <laughs> something with, with the always love each other no matter what. The road ahead is up and down, a little rocky all the time. And, you know, stick together. I love both of you very much. Love you. And congratulations. Thank you. Pretty good. Now we have Deb with B. Are you giving out cabbage? No, no, you're doing great. Yes. Hi, I'm Debbie Walrup, or Matt Andrews, but Drew is a mother. <laughs> and my letter is B. And I just want Drew and Nikki to look around this room and think of all the blessings that are in this room for them. All these people have come a long way to celebrate their life with them. And I want them to wake up every morning and go to bed every night knowing that they have picked out of all the people in the world, they found one another to bless their lives with. And I just want to say, God bless you in your marriage for a long and happy marriage. And I know another B word, and it's baby. Yeah! <laughs> so if they could get working on that, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. I was a little worried I'm going to be worried. <laughs> uh, okay, Russ with another B word. Okay, pressure's on, pal. I know the question is yes, I am 5'7. <laughs> <laughs> um, My word is B. Not the letter word, but the word B. When you put it in front of the words that mean something, it could mean something very nice. So, be patient with each other. Sometimes you're not. <laughs> you have to be. Be respectful to each other. And someday you might have a baby. Yikes. Be understanding. It's hard to think of the other person's ideas and love. If you do, you understand it. And be thankful that you found each other. Because we have the love that you always have, and we hope you never lose. I love you both. Very good. Hey, Barb, come on up, please. <laughs> I'm not a speaker either, so I had to write it down. Um, my word is A for acceptance. Um, be patient with each other. Accept each other's differences. Understand they are part of what makes you each unique. Um, but yeah, with each passing day, you'll find yourself sharing more similarities, and the transformation will be amazing. 
In relationships, you'll find that the older you grow together, the more you will become one. So Nikki and Drew, I'm honored to be a witness to your journey. I didn't get any damage. Angela, G, did you get cabbage? Good. You're going to want to hang on to that. Oh, my God. My letter is G, and it's for giving. Jewelry is always acceptable, so you know. But give your love unconditionally. Give um, your forgiveness because we all mess up, and it's going to come. And give your time and attention to one another without expectation because you'll never be disappointed. We love you guys very much. We're very proud of you. So, E is me. Everyone, lift your cabbage if you have one, or your drink, and let's toast. To Mr. and Mrs. Drew Waldrop. Congratulations. Thank you all. Interesting, huh? Okay, so. All right, everybody can see that. You can see it as a brand. That's an accomplishment.